All right, all you cool cats out there, before we get into our magic product review, we'll do something without the bow still. Yes, we're still in that, can you believe it? Waiting for a bow to arrive. Anyway, let's just dance a little bit. There's my crazy, wacky version of doing a little pizzicato on my fiddle today. Anyway, welcome to the channel. If you're brand new here, I am Fiddlin' Johnny, and this is my fiddle channel and magic product review. And today we've got a gentleman by the name of Craig Petty. Yes, that Craig Petty has re-released a product that he put out 15 years ago. Go, go, can't even chop. 15 years ago, we'll just go with that, uh, called Chop. Anyway, stick around, we'll get right into this review. Hello everyone. Hey, I just wanna say thank you for being here. I always really just appreciate that you're taking the time out of your day to watch these magic product reviews. <coughs> All right, so if you came here for the product review of CHOP, stick around. If if you, well, look, I'm just gonna blather on for the next five minutes. So if you wanna skip all my blathering, just go ahead and forward to the chop part of the routine. But I thought I'd share um, a little bit about myself and going out and performing because it finally feels like the world is getting back to normal, at least in my neck of the woods. I was able finally to get out and uh, what I would say is my first, well, would say it is my first post pandemic, um, uh, gig, which feels freaking awesome. An actual paying gig uh, where people come and pay to see you. So that was really nice. And damn, did I feel rusty. Um, you know, there's routines I've been doing for decades. I would say years, not really de years, it's decades. So you get used to performing them, but let's face it, for the last two years, you know, I just haven't been out performing. Uh, and so, um, and at any rate, it made me really anxious. Um, and I never get anxious before performances. I'm usually, you know, pretty comfortable and confident, so not really an issue. But boy, I felt out of sorts this time uh, and anxious about it. Uh, I really wanted to incorporate new material rather than sort of coming out and folks who have seen me before, seeing some stuff that they've, you know, seen before. So. I tried to mix up with about a half and half of new stuff and old stuff. Since I review new products every single week, I've got a plethora of stuff to pull from. Um, so, um, so, you know, it was a little bit of a tough decision trying to decide what I felt comfortable with having practiced enough to really bring it out um, and perform. So uh, some of the stuff I did, um, and I'm not going to remember all of it, um, I did Fringe Mentalism. Uh, that was a review I just did a couple of weeks ago. Really liked Fringe Mentalism. You should go check out that review. Maybe there'll be a link there or a link down here or somewhere to go check that out. But um, I did the tossed out deck routine from Fringe Mentalism. Uh, really liked it. Actually used it as my closer. Um, that was fun. And I did Summit as well, which was controversial when it came out for good reason. But it's a worker. Um, so uh, some was one of the ones that I threw in there as well. Um, so anyway, those are some of the fun ones uh, to put in there. Um, some of your takeaways there is that if you're looking for workers and things that um, can be used in real sets, those were some that I actually used in, in the set. And uh, my set of conditions, I often perform uh, at rock clubs. Um, I get hired by bands uh, as uh, to be an addition to the rock band. So, um, they will um, do a set and then um, I'll close up the night with uh, uh, mentalism. That's what I did in this scenario. And since I'm a musician myself, um, I often will sit in with bands. But And this one, just pure on, because I had no bow, uh, I just did pure on performing um, mentalism. So uh, that was the set of circumstances. I love those set of circumstances because when you're performing uh, in a rock venue, you've got a lot of people who are loud, 
who are drinking, uh, are interested in other things, and they're not really there to oftentimes um, see a mentalism show. Uh, so I love the set of circumstances and a lot of fun to perform for that crowd. Really brings out all your um, crowd management skills that are necessary. Uh, and I love that challenge. There's always somebody who's had maybe a little bit too much to drink. And so therefore, all of their normal social etiquette rules maybe are out the door. Um, I had a little bit of that and I just found that fun to sort of uh, decide, you know, how comfortable you are with that. Which reminds me, I did uh, Hollywood by Hanson Chin as well. Uh, and that's one of those ones where you can hand it out to your spectator. Uh, but in most instances, you know, you don't want them spending a whole lot of time with it. And I had one person who was maybe a little bit um, happy and boy, I could see them, you know, out of the corner of my eye, I'm trying to be cool. And yet I can see them playing with the gimmick more than I'm comfortable with, but trying to remain cool and it works fine. They don't know anything, they don't see anything. I hand it out to the entire audience. Anyone can look and touch and feel um, and it's fine. So the only thing is I have to remember, make sure that that block of wood comes back to me so I don't walk away without one of my uh, props and tools. Um, so anyway, uh, just wanted to share that with you. I think some of the takeaways here is if you're nervous getting out there, just go out and perform. The only way to get better is to do. Don't be afraid to uh, mess up. I had two effects where I felt like, oh, those did not go or I forgot one of the steps even though I've been performing forever, um, but it's been a while since I've performed some of them, and uh, it's like, oh, oh, I forgot that uh, step in the routine, but it's fine, you know, you, you just keep going and it all works out. So anyway, it's just nice to be out and performing and feeling like the world's maybe getting back to a little bit of normal. So uh, anyway, that's that. Now let's get into the man himself, Craig Petty, and this release. Now Craig released this originally 15 years ago and uh, so this is an updated version of it and I think what he says in this is that this has more moves more concepts and more ideas than the last release of it essentially it's the same thing but you're getting this updated tutorial uh, on it which gives you know over 15 more years of performing this you get um, better at it and you refine it even that much more so you're getting a real worker from a real performer. Uh, it's one of your ta takeaways there. What is chop? So chop is, it is a variation of cups and balls, okay? Uh, or a chop cup routine. And if you're not familiar with that, you have three cups and you put a ball underneath one or you use three balls and they move around to where you don't think they should be moving in, in essence. And usually you have a kicker at the end where you uh, under, even though you're using small little balls, the final loads are things like everything from potatoes to uh, lemons to um, cantaloupe, uh, depending on how big of a load, you know. So uh, that's what it is. This is unique in that it is done with a single cup. He uses a paper cup for all of his demonstration, but you could use a ceramic cup, uh, a uh, coffee mug works just as fine, doesn't really matter. You just need sort of like an everyday object slash cup. Uh, and if you're gonna use the cup, you're gonna use a Sharpie, and you're gonna get someone's borrowed bill that they have signed, so a signed borrowed bill. Uh, and you're essentially going to do a sort of, I would say like, you know, a single uh, chop cup type of routine. Now, in the routine that he does, it is multi-phase. I think he's got six or seven different phases. You can do as many or as little phases as you want. I think some of the nice things is that like you could put the signed dollar bill in there, wave your little magic wand over the top, and it is gone. So you can sort of see some of the you know nice simplicity and uniqueness of what you couldn't do in a traditional chop cup routine that you can do with this given that your Sharpie is a gimmick Sharpie. Um, so it's, it's a variation on uh, your chop cup routine. Um, so you are going to get multiple routines on here, but that's not the important piece. The important piece is that Craig is going to teach you 11 moves. Uh, and in those 11 moves, you decide how you want to build a routine that really suits and builds you, um, suits you best. And you can use the moves that you feel most comfortable with. So in, even though you're gonna get taught 11 moves, 
In a typical chopped cup routine, you might use three to five different moves, let's say. So you really have this nice sort of smorgasbord of moves that you're going to learn, some that may be new to you, others that may be, you know, once you've been using yourself for years and how to incorporate them given the tools that you get uh, for this. So, uh, but Craig is going to teach you uh, multiple routines. He's going to do a selected card prediction type of routine. So you have a folded up card um, uh, prediction that's put into a cup at the beginning. Um, you're going to get a sponge ball and coin transposition routine. Um, he's going to do a coins across routine, which I really liked. I thought that was really good. Uh, he also does one where you can use a clear glass. Like if you're performing in a barn, you're using a pint glass. You can actually do uh, take a coin, vanish, throw it, and it appears in the actual um, your pint glass. So I thought that was a nice idea. Um, and those are just some of the ideas that you're going to get uh, on this um, release. So let's talk about physically what are you going to get and virtually what are you going to get. So in this box, you're going to get this Sharpie. The Sharpie is gimmicked, but it is a gimmicked Sharpie. Like it's a real Sharpie. It functions. You can use this for all of your routines. You can hand it out to your spectator. They can sign the bill with it. It's always in play and there's nothing to find or see um, just because there's just nothing to find or see despite that it's gimmicked. Uh, you're also going to get a um, one additional gimmick that you'll utilize uh, for like your bills or whatever and you're going to get a streaming uh, slash downloadable video that is a 115 minutes in length. And if my math is correct, that comes out to about an hour 45 in length uh, for the um, tutorial piece, which is awesome. Craig can never be criticized for not providing enough tutorial. He really spends the time to make sure that you get value uh, when it comes to his uh, tutorials. Okay, the things you're not going to get, like you're not going to get a cup, you're not going to get the coins, you're not going to get the borrowed signed bill, uh, you're not going to get the lemon. I don't even think I mentioned the lemon. Did I mention the lemon yet? Uh, Craig really has a kicker on this. Now you could do the routine with the lemon or without the lemon, but he does the signed borrowed bill uh, routine and at the end the signed borrowed bill will end up inside the lemon. You have to cut out the lemon, split it open, and inside there is your spectator's uh, actual signed uh, bill. And you don't need to do any switches there, just so you know, um, from a level of detail there. Uh, so, you're not going to get the coins if you're doing the coins across. Those will need to be your own or borrowed uh, as well. Let's talk about how are the instructions. So it's released this time through Penguin Magic. So it's uh, done in the Penguin Magic Studios. The quality is really good for the most part. This is one of the few times I felt like on a Penguin video, every time there were a couple times when they were zooming in, it got a little fuzzy and took a while for the camera to focus. Not deal breakers. Uh, you still get everything that you need, but the quality uh, overall is like a 99 out of 100 um, from a quality uh, and technical aspect of it. Um, and um, I, I mentioned this earlier, but I'll punctuate it because it is an important piece. You're first going to get 18 minutes of unedited real life performance on the tutorial. So the first 18 minutes are simply watching multiple routines to different audiences uh, in which Craig is sort of showing the utility and what you can do with what you get in the box in, in essence, which is really nice because I think one of the pros of, of this is that you get to ultimately decide how to build your routine and you get the moves to do that. All right. So um, let's talk about how is the gimmick. Gimmick's great. I'm not going to spend a lot of time with it because it's just 100%. This will last you forever. In fact, the ink will run out before the gimmick portion stops working because the gimmick portion will always work. Because if you know how a typical chop cup routine works or an important method of that, that's housed in here. And let me just say without giving too much away, super strong. Uh, this is really super strong. For those who know, know what I mean. Um, all right, so the gimmick's going to last forever for you. Uh, and the additional uh, bits and bob that you get will last forever. Um, let's talk about what the skill level is. Now, in my opinion, the skill level here really is intermediate. And I say it's intermediate because 
while there's 11 different moves that you'll learn and some of them are very easy and beginner, when you pull together a full sort of chop routine, there's both the moves and the choreography along with your patter or scripting that really all need to flow together and really do, in my opinion, demand the practice so that it looks beautiful. I personally, I'm not a huge fan of cups and balls only because it's been done so many times. And I know every time I say like, I'm not a big fan of cups and balls, when I see someone perform it really well, I go, oh, that's why it's a timeless classic. Someone who's taken the time and dedication to really put in the times with the cups and balls. Of course, this is a modified cups and balls. You're using essentially a single cup uh, with your magic wand. Um, so um, also for me personally, um, I don't go out, I, well, I've never performed cups and balls because I don't want to carry cups and balls around with me uh, in addition because I don't like the hassle of carrying them. And um, they're not sort of everyday objects. I feel like as soon as you pull them out, you go, oh, like, well, people assume like, oh, there's some trickery involved because those are magic props. So if you're looking for something to do that doesn't scream magic props, boy, you know, look, this is it. These are everyday objects. Uh, and yet doing sort of, you know, classic cups and balls types of stuff with it. Uh, so a skill level though, in my opinion, is intermediate. If you're a beginner and you're really interested in this, can you do it? Heck yeah. Uh, but just get, show it the reverence it deserves and take the time to practice um, cups and balls. Now that's my opinion. Others may disagree with me, but that's my opinion. All right, let's talk about some of the pros here. Uh, it basically turns, uh, it really modernizes a, a cups and balls routine uh, to make it an everyday carry type of object. Uh, you just throw that Sharpie in your pocket along with uh, a bill and you're ready to go. Um, I like that it adds the kicker at the end with the uh, signed uh, bill to lemon. I, I like that as the kicker, a strong pro there. And if you don't want to do that aspect of it, you don't have to. Um, I like that it gives 18 minutes of live performance with multiple routines. Um, the tutorial is a quality tutorial on there um, and it gives you a lot of creative ways in which you can use this gimmick uh, in multiple ways. All right. Um, also, I mentioned it already, you're going to learn 11 different moves that you could use in other types of routines. So like whether you're doing card magic or coin magic, they are moves that are also used in cards and coins. And so um, they translate really well to those types of manipulations with other objects. Um, it's also, it's an instant reset. The second you're done, you want to perform it again, boom, no problem. You can start performing immediately right away. Let's talk about the cons. Well, I kind of mentioned earlier, I'm not a big fan of cups and balls routine, uh, but you know, some of you love it. So this would be great and it's not really a con. Um, I will add sort of subtlety here. If you're going to do the bill to lemon routine, how it's taught on here is that Craig keeps uh, the lemon in his pocket. He teaches you how to make sure that it doesn't get messy in your pocket, but the reality is it could get messy in your pocket. So not a fan of that. You really have to have um, uh, loose enough pants where a lemon can fit in it or a loose enough jacket where you can put your lemon in the jacket and access it uh, pretty easily. Um, there's a little bit of talking with this gimmick. So uh, I want to mention that it's, um, I hate to say it as a con, it's just something you need to manage. Like when you take your bill and you put it in there, like sometimes you might hear a little talking. I don't know if folks can hear that, but you know, you just want to make sure that you're sort of managing how you do that so there's less less noise. So there's a little bit of talking there, totally manageable, but I want you to be aware of it if you're thinking about it so that you can make sure that you're adjusting your performance to account for that. All right, who's gonna like this? Uh, I think, think anybody who loves impromptu magic and loves everyday carry and loves classics of magic, boy, this is right in that lane. Uh, and it's an A plus. So if that's something that interests you, I think this ticks off that box for you. Uh, all right, how much is this going to set you back? Well, in the United States, it's $39.95 for this, which I think is a reasonable price for what you're gonna get. This alone is something I'll use forever and will probably uh, think of other routines in which I could incorporate it. Um, so um, yeah, that's what it costs. 
don't know that I have anything else to say. I hope it's helpful. Um, I think if you look at the ad copy for this, it's exactly uh, as advertised. So you're not getting hoodwinked on what it is. I think if you decide to get it, really take the time to practice it so that it looks really, really awesome. All right. I hope this video is helpful for you. I hope I didn't ramble on for too long. I appreciate each and every one of you being here. It really does mean a lot to me. And if you haven't yet subscribed, go ahead and subscribe and hit the like button. Really just hit that like button right now. You don't need to smash it. Just tap on it, just click on it and, th and that's good. And of course, leave a comment. I love reading each one of the comments. I love interacting with each one of you. You guys have become my friends in the comment section. Um, and I really find a lot of joy in that. So leave, leave a comment. Um, all right, everyone. I'm Fiddlin' Johnny. And remember to keep fiddling around with your magic. I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.